From the title of the video, you already know I'm short on ideas for Legend ZA because they have not given us ever any info whatsoever about this gameplay. So yes, hello, I'm Couch Pikmin. It would be super if we can get to 2.5k subs by the end of 2024. So be sure to subscribe and let's do this. Legend ZA needs to be a good list of things, as fans expect a lot going into a Pokemon game that will sell millions upon millions. So I'm going to try and narrow it down for you all to about 5 things I really want in Legend ZA. Let's start shall we? First on the list will be Ride Pokemon. What I mean by that is more unique Ride Pokemon that we can use around the city to either help us traverse buildings like Gogot, Lapras for water, Ariados for scaling walls, Noivern for flight, just a bunch of cool Pokemon we can ride. I liked it back in Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu where we could ride a lot of different Pokemon to traverse Kanto which would work as we are, as we are just in one city which is Lumio City this time around. So I think, it, I think it could work if we had a bunch of like Gen 6 or even Gen 1 and Gen 6 Pokemon that we can ride and we get to choose which ones we want to ride. You want to ride a, um, a Lapras in the water? Sure. What about a Starmie? What about a Gyarados? Uh, you want to ride around the fields? So get your Rapidash out. Okay cool. Get your Gogo out. How about for scaling walls? You use your Ariados, fair. What about that other person that's using that's using a Tyrantrum? You know, like things, just things you could ride that are big enough to ride. You could even ride Starmie, like in in Kanto, which was just cool. So it'd be really cool to ride a lot of things. The second will be to give us more than ten new Mega Forms. I love Mega Evolution, and I would say it's the best gimmick out of the lot. I'm very happy for its re for its return, but at least have 10 new Mega Forms, which would be insane to see. A personal Pokémon of mine I would love to see get a Mega Form would be Furret, which is my favourite Pokémon of the 1024 we currently have. That's a lot. Here are some more I would love to see to get Megas: Ladian, Drampa, and Sunflower. Third one. I would like this game to be 10 or 20 years after X and Y story. We could see old returning characters all grown up like Bonnie and Clement. Imagine if Bonnie is now the new electric gym leader, if we're having gym leaders, don't know, of Lumios and Clement is an engineer, or at least the head of the engineer company, helping to redevelop the city. It would really feel like we are getting a taste of what Pokemon Z would have been if we got that back in the day and it fills my heart with joy thinking about that. Fourth, give us many shiny hunting methods because Gen 6 gave us a ton of them. Friend Safari, Hordes, Dex Nav, Chain Fishing, Eggs, Normal Encounters, Static Encounters. Like those are all cool ones and I would love to see some of them or all of them return in some way in this huge city. And the final fifth one, I want this game to run smoothly, like Arceus or better. I know I'm asking a lot here, but I feel this game has potential to be greater than Arceus was. So Game Freak, can you get your heads down and focus on what we all want? None of us want glitchy, lagfest, Scarlet and Violet again. There's my five things I really want in this game. Let's be honest here, these might come true or not, but I can only hope that we get something everyone likes and we are all happy with a smooth game with loads of content. Oh, I just thought of a cool DLC they could do for this. The base game is the city, but two parts of the DLC, uh, which would be in Southern Kalos, above, pa above Paldea to the top right, and some little towns from X and Y 
but you can traverse them like islands. I think that would be a cool way to bring back the south of Kalos, as it was cut from X and Y, was probably meant to be in Pokemon Z, so this is the best chance. We could see finally Hoopa, Volcanian and Deancey get some story and maybe have like three different areas in the DLC for those uh, legendary Pokemon, which we did not get in X and Y. Anyway, thanks for watching as usual, subscribing is always appreciated, bye bye for now.